Most people think time is like a river that flows swift and sure in one direction. But I have seen the face of time. And I can tell you, they are wrong. Time is an ocean in a storm. You may wonder who I am and why I say this. Sit down, and I will tell you a tale like none that you have ever heard. Know first that I am the son of Sharam, a mighty king of Persia. On our way to Azad with a small company of men who passed through India, <coughs> where the promise of honor and glory tempted my father into a grievous error. Now, my son. I felt regret as I gazed upon the destruction we had wrought. Or at least humility is the speed with which a world can be transformed from a good world into a hell. If you think so, you are mistaken. For in that moment I thought of one thing only. The honor and glory I would bring my father by fighting like a warrior in my first battle. Many men that day sought to win honor and glory on the battlefield, that their king might say to them, as Khosrow said to Rustam, You are the noblest of my warriors. From the moment my sword tasted blood, I knew this would not be my way. I would win my father's praise, not by killing, but by being the first to find the Maharaja's treasure vault and the wonders within. Just out of reach, the dagger of time. 
There was a treasure I could carry with pride as a trophy of our victory. If I could only get there. Now. I have brought us honor and glory. <coughs> Your Majesty, you promised me my choice of the Maharaja's treasures. That dagger! Surely you won't deny the lad a souvenir of his first battle. You may have your choice of all the Maharaja's other treasures. Except that hourglass. That will make a fine gift for the Sultan of Azad when we pass through his city. And some exotic animals for his menagerie. And a few dozen slave girls. Yes, that should be enough. I want no animals or maidens harmed until I have chosen. Let it be known, King Sharaman is merciful in victory. Trust not a man who has betrayed his master, nor take him into your own service, lest he betray you too. I learned the truth of this to my sorrow, the day that we arrived in Azad as the Sultan's honored guests. My friend. My friend, your visit brings joy and honor to my poor and humble dwelling. If only you'd given me time to prepare a proper welcome. The glories of Azad are famed throughout the world, and yet... The best is yet to come. I give you the sands of time. May the friendship between our kingdoms endure as long as time itself. The sand, why does it glow? I can tell you. Inside the hourglass is a marvel that no living man has seen. Alas, only the dagger can unlock the sands of time, and it belongs to a greater one than I. A young prince, dearer to his father than all the wealth of India. Perhaps he will oblige. No! No. 
you have unleashed the sands of time. I can undo what you have done. Give it to me! No. that only by taking into my own dagger the sands that possess them could I liberate them from their monstrous living death. No one but myself. Run! Go back to the reception hall. Wait for me there. Go! India, she had been there. In the desert, I had felt her dark eyes upon me. Now, here she was again. She and I, the only two survivors. The hourglass! What? I did not understand the meaning of what I had just seen. But I knew, with a certainty I could not explain, that those winged creatures had a master. The man who had tricked me into opening the hourglass now had his prize. And for some unknown purpose coveted the dagger as well, would stop it nothing to possess it. Well, I would give him what he sought. I would plunge it into his foul and treacherous heart. System. It'll take both of us to do it. I'll reset the axles for you. The man who's normally in charge of this got... Never mind. Ride the platform down to the bottom. Then use those two cranks to bring it back up. You see those four axles? 
You'll need to pick them up one by one until you've got all four. Then bring them up to the top together. Thanks I get for saving your life. You don't understand. I need that dagger to undo. To undo what I have done. Truly you must think I'm a fool. You are right to be cautious. But fight as bravely as you may. You cannot defeat this enemy. The sands will spread. They will consume... everything. I have heard it said that you are kind as well as brave. Please believe me. Help me find the hourglass. It is in the Sultan's treasure vault, atop the Tower of Dawn. How do you know that? I just know. Come with me then, if you insist. But I warn you, I move pretty fast. You'd better keep up. Wait! 
Wait! And you were worried about me keeping up. I'll cover you. Please don't. You're liable to hit me. Are you all right? Stay there. I'll try to find a way in. Separated again, shall we? It's so quiet out there. It's terrible. But also beautiful. Maybe to you. skinny little thing. What is this place? We'll need to find a way down to the bottom. Zoo. You did it. Right. The fabled menagerie of Azad, the Sultan's pride and joy. It had been one of the wonders of the world. As a child, I dreamed of it and longed to see it with my own eyes. Now it was a place of terror, an abandoned ruin laid waste by the sands of time. Here I am! If you have believed the rest of my tale until now, perhaps you will also believe me when I tell you that, as we made our way through the moonlit ruins, I began to feel strangely drawn to the girl at my side. My reason told me to distrust her, but she had good cause to hate me. Yet she had proven herself a loyal woman. And, I confess, I was grateful for the company of someone who, like me, was fortunate. Oh. sword you had before. Where are we? It said this palace was built on the ruins of an even more ancient one. But I thought that was just a story. Now what do we do? Look, a crack!
you! Help me! under this gate. I'll really be impressed. I knew that hall was there. I just <laughs> Keep running! below there's a great open balcony come on i'll show you easy for you to say come on it's too far i can't jump it i know where i am this gate leads to the bath do you think you could find your way there of course finding my way to the baths from here should be easy good i'll meet you there I'll just ask the first sand creature I run into. Could you direct me to the bass, please? Well, thank you. Don't mention it. I used to be a bath attendant back when I was alive. I'll meet you at the baths. She orders me around as if I were a servant. It's my own fault. With women, you need to show them you're in charge right from the start, or they'll walk all over you. I've been too indulgent. Probably because I felt sorry for her. Well, it stops now. From now on, she'll have to toe the line. That is, assuming I can Whoa. find her. Oh! Have you been waiting here all this time? I didn't realize you meant these baths. I went to the other baths, clear across the other side of the city. I had a lovely wash and a rub with fragrant nuts. Too bad you weren't there. Stop talking to yourself!
This time, stay with me, and pay attention. Can't spend all day chasing after you. Well, what are you waiting for? I'm afraid. What if I get into trouble and you have to come chasing after me? Please. I'm afraid. What if I get into trouble? Over here! There you are. Are you sure I'm not slowing you down? All right, all right. The Hall of Learning. We must have come out the wrong side of the baths. We'll need to go back through the Royal Palace. All right then, let's find the way out. Huh? 
I'll meet you on the other side of that gate. Careful. You be careful. to the Tower of Dawn. Climb around. father's palace was a prison much like this. I had never set foot inside. Now here I was, myself a prisoner, seeking an escape.
all right. It's me. It's me. Look, at last we're here. The Tower of Dawn. How long have you been gone? Gone? What are you talking about? Never mind. Be careful! Of what? Not everything is a trap, you know. Nearby, I can feel it. Feel it? How? I can't explain it. You did it! Take the dagger. Strike it into the center of the dome. Your father's army sacked your palace, captured you as a slave. What? You have every reason to hate me. What are you talking about? Now you want me to trust you. Go on. There's no time. Uh. Give me the dagger. I had faced my enemy. I had looked into his eyes, and I had lost everything. Why did you hesitate? You think you're cleverer than everybody, but you're just like the rest of them. Those soldiers, all they can do is fight, destroy. Why did I trust you? 
Why didn't you trust me? <laughs> Ow! Sorry. Where are you? I'm right here. Hold my hand. Don't let go. I didn't mean what I said. No. You're right. All that's happened is my doing. I wanted honor and glory. I brought this on us. You are brave and good. If this tomb is to be ours, at least the dagger will be buried with us. And we are together. What is it? Nothing. You're trembling. I just don't like close spaces. There must be some way out of here. When I was small, my mother taught me a secret word. She said that when I was afraid, all I had to do was speak that word, and a magic door would open. I've never told that to anybody. I can see why. It's the most childish thing I've ever heard of. What was the word? Kakolukia. Kakolukia. You did that, didn't you? Farah? Isn't it beautiful? Isn't what beautiful? Where are you? Where are you? I'm right here! Where are you? I'm here! Was it real, that magical cavern? If it was a dream, then it was a dream we both shared. I know it was.
Slain my enemies, honor and glory were mine. But though I fight until the desert sands themselves were red with blood, I could not bring back the dead. No. No. The girl is unimportant. No! Give me the dagger, and I will give you power, eternal life.
shall be yours. Live forever, when those I loved are dead and I to blame. I choose death. <laughs> Do not be afraid. This belongs to you. The Dagger of Time. But it is locked away within my father's treasure vault. How Most people think time is like a river that flows swift and sure in one direction. But I have seen the face of time, and I can tell you, they are wrong. Time is an ocean in a storm. You may wonder who I am and why I say this. Sit down. And I will tell you the tale like none that you have ever heard. No further. I am the son. And that is why I have come. To warn you and your father to arrest this treacherous vizier before he betrays you and brings ruin on us all. His signal is a flaming arrow shot into the air. Prevent him, and my father's army will know the traitor has been unmasked. They will turn back. A wild tale indeed. I have a simpler version. A Persian soldier lusting for glory entered the chambers of the Maharaja's daughter and was slain by me. Your Highness, for your own safety, I suggest you flee. <laughs> I will handle this intruder. Matru Deva Teva What sorcery is this? Stop this at once! My lady, he came here to abduct you. Surely you do not believe him. He will betray you! All will happen as I have foretold. Hard inventive. Oh, do not forget, he is a Persian soldier. What I told you is no story. It happened. I mean... It will happen. Oh.
perhaps father and son are alike. It would appear that both share a taste for easy plunder. You waste your breath. What little you possess. You perceive my malady. Oh. I will handle this intruder. Don't tire yourself. was a traitor. Take this. Return it to your father's treasure vault. Guard it well. I owe you thanks. But why did you invent such a fantastic story? Do you think me a child that I would believe such nonsense? <gasps> I said I owe you thanks. You presume too much. Story. Do you think me a child that I would believe such nonsense? You're right. It was just a story. Wait! I don't even know your name. Just call me Kakulukiao. <laughs> 